Windpay Fantasy Novels presents Stellar Transformations, Zing Ken Bian. Author, I Eat Tomatoes, Wo Chi Shi Hong Shi, Translators, He Man, Rai Lane, Thunderhill. Please support the author in the link below. Book 2, Meteoric Tear. Chapter 8, Leaping Through the Sky Part 2. That night, Kinya sits with legs crossed in his room. Every night he executes the ancestral dragon arts technique to turn the world's holy energy into internal energy then, as it automatically disperses, lets his entire body's muscles absorb some of this internal energy. Tonight is the same. Ginyu executes the ancestral dragon art again. If there were an observer, he would see. Various endless streams of the world's holy energy start to whirl around Kinyu at a very fast speed. Their number is shockingly large. Because there are too many of them, these holy energy streams unexpectedly form a blue mist. It looks as if Kinyu's entire body is wrapped in a hazy layer of blue mist. His body is only a blur through the blue mist materialization of holy energy. The materialization of holy energy according to legend. If an internal expert or exientian expert saw this, they would be scared stiff. Holy energy absorption speed naturally represents a person's power improvement speed. And when the materialization of holy energy is achieved, the practice speed of that person will reach a terrifying level. According to legend, Shang Xian's holy energy absorption is at a level where their holy energy is materialized. And even Xianxian experts are definitely below this level. At the moment, however, the materialization of holy energy is happening on the body of a young man who is only 16 and practices external techniques. At this moment Kinyu's face is very red. His body is slightly trembling, as if he has received a very great provocation. Beads of sweat have even stuck out on his forehead. The expression on his face shows that he is both in pain and shocked. However, the surging holy energy is still entering Kinyu's body non-stop. Why is this happening? So much holy energy. Kinyu is so shocked that he is speechless. When he executed the ancestral dragon art, the holy energy in his vicinity was very obedient and let itself be absorbed by him at a very fast speed. But because it was too obedient and too easy to maneuver, Kinyu has unexpectedly absorbed an amount of holy energy over ten times as much as usual in a short while. Could that meteoric tear be the reason? Kinyu automatically thinks about this. But he immediately smiles bitterly, my goodness, you're killing me. At this moment, the surging holy energy in his body starts to roll into his channels. If a footpath which can only accommodate three people walking abreast is suddenly walked on by people ten abreast and, moreover, the number of people taking this footpath increases non-stop, it is easy to imagine how overcrowded it will become. At this moment, the channels in Kinyu's body are exceptionally overcrowded. The amount of holy energy which far exceeds those of the past is totally clogging his channels. Absorbing too much holy energy isn't a good thing. What should I do now? Ginyu can feel continual tearing pains in his channels. He makes every effort to circulate the holy energy in the channels. But because there is too much holy energy, even starting to keep it under control is hard for him. This is like how while an instructor can still easily control the movements of 100 people he will not be able to direct the movements of 1000 people by himself. So painful, will I die because of the channels breaking into pieces? Kinya smiles bitterly in his mind. 
At first I thought this mysterious meteoric tear was a treasure. Now it seems to be a disaster for me instead. So much holy energy is already enough to squeeze into my channels until they break. Ginyu can feel that every place of the channels in his entire body is in continuous pain. Ginyu's channels have adapted themselves to those smaller amounts of holy energy of the past, but today's amount has increased to ten times the normal amounts, so how can they endure it? His channels have been overfilled. Moreover, they seem to be about to break apart because of that. Ginyu can only see everything happening without being able to do anything. A place of his channels finally can no longer endure pressure of the squeezing and starts to tear. No good. Kinyu's face immediately goes very pale. In a short while, the channels in his entire body continuously tear in every place. Father, I thought I was still of some use and would be able to help you. But now it looks like. I'm completely useless as before. Kinyu is disappointed. However, despite facing death, he has absolutely neither fear nor sorrow. Maybe father will grieve for me after I die? For some odd reason, Kinyu unexpectedly thinks about this. However, while he is having a bee in his bonnet, the meteoric tear in his chest sends out various clear streams of energy which immediately flow throughout Kinyu's body. These mysterious clear streams have some unknown power which unexpectedly lets those tattered channels easily take shape again. Moreover, the newly formed channels are considerably wider than the previous ones. Ah! Kinyu is astonished. He watches this scene in stupefaction. It seems. The meteoric tear is not as simple as he thinks at all. However, because the current amount of holy energy is ten times, or even over ten times, Larger than the normal amounts, the newly formed channels are still too narrow for it. In a short while, following the increasingly slower circulation of energy, the blockage in the channels becomes more and more serious, and the channels even tear again. This time Kinyu does not despair. He attentively waits for those mysterious clear streams from the meteoric tear. As expected, the meteoric tear does not disappoint Kinyu. Once again, a clear stream comes out from the meteoric tear with no difficulty and he can feel clearly that wherever it goes to the channels they recover quickly. After a short while, all of the channels have been formed again. This time they are even wider than before. Tearing, Mending even though there is too much holy energy, after experiencing the tearing, mending process continuously, the channels have finally become able to withstand it. Kinyu finally succeeds. However, the pain of having his channels tearing again and again was much more terrifying than the pain of practicing external techniques. Various vigorous streams of internal energy swarm into his dance and then move outward in all directions. Like dry sandy soil, the flesh in Kinyu's entire body draws internal energy off non-stop. The more internal energy his flesh and bones absorb, the more formidable they become. However, as time goes by, the flesh and bones absorb less and less internal energy. After four hours, Ginyu opens his eyes. Sure enough, just as I anticipated, when the training load increases, 
the flesh and bones become stronger and also absorb more internal energy. A day ago my training load increased to over 10 times the normal load, now I've only been absorbing for 4 hours, but the amount of internal energy absorbed was already about 10 times larger than in the past. Kinyu's face is full of sweat. The pain of the channels tearing just now has caused his entire body to be drenched in sweat. After my flesh and bones absorbed so much internal energy, now I feel. Ginyu kicks fast and fiercely with his legs, causing whizzing wind sounds. He also punches continuously with his fists, splitting the air before him. Now I feel. My entire body is full of power. Ginyu's eyes glitter with extreme excitement. After going through this one day of training, he can totally notice that his own improvement speed is extremely fast. Two years, will I need that much? There is a hint of a confident smile on the corners of his mouth. It is pointless to guess how long it will take to reach the peak of the Haoshan level. He can only undergo real training and wait for the facts to speak for themselves. Time goes by. Kinya starts to train like crazy. He throws caution regarding daily training load to the winds and completely attacks the endurance limit of the human nerve. Even if Xianxian experts came to see how he trains, they would be horrified to death by this madman. This kind of training is suicide. With 300 jinn of weights on his body, he holds high two huge rocks which weigh several hundred gin each using his hands. He thus runs at his fastest speed for one hour. Afterwards, he throws the rocks away and swims in the lake while carrying 300 gin of weights more than 100 round trips. Then he repeats these forms of training. This is totally beyond the human imagination. There is simply no way to explain it. Is this really what a person can endure? However, Kinyu is happy and lively. His body's toughness, flexibility and agility improve day by day. His eyes also become increasingly swifter and fiercer. Kinyu always tests his arm strength while carrying 300 jinn of weights. From lifting 300 jinn with one arm, the weight he can lift with one arm continuously increases to 400 jinn, 450 jinn, 500 jinn, 550 jinn, 600 jinn, 700 jinn. However, even though his arm's strength improves, there does not seem to be an upper limit on Kinyu's one-armed strength. A peak Haoshan expert has 700 to 800 jinn of strength in one arm. To sum up, in just a year Kinyu's one-armed strength has surpassed this so-called peak of one-armed strength. His strength, agility and even his body's attack resistance have all been continuously challenging the presumptive peaks of external practice on the Qian Long continent. Kinyu is still improving very fast without showing any sign of deceleration. Moreover, he does not feel any bit of Xianxian energy at all, which means he is still a Haoshan expert. No one knows how great Kinyu's attributes will be at the peak of the Haoshan level. In conclusion, the current Kinyu's achievements cannot be predicted using common sense. A miracle of external practice is being initiated by him. Thanks for listening. If you like the video, please press like and subscribe for more. Don't forget to support the original author so we can enjoy more of their books. See you in the next video. Love and peace, Windpei.